Here we go. 60 liters. Good night. Ta da! <laughs> Why would anybody want to come out here? Yum, yum. Brutal portage. Rain squall. <laughs> Great Canadian canoeing experience. Big lake. Filtering water. And fell into the water. Lunchtime. Or I would have dumped. I have a map. No flies. Ten fly. Shepherd's pie. Bye, buddy. Kisses. Bye. Bye. Have a good time. Thank you. Well, hi, guys and girls. We're on our next adventure. Six nights, seven days. Algonquin Park. Putting in at uh, Magnetowan Lake. Access number three. Going to go across the Petawawa River. Over to Big Trout Lake. And then south down through otter slides, burnt root, and out at canoe. Try to do some fishing. Weather promises to be great. And we got our first little portage coming up here to get into Hambone and then from Hambone into Daisy. And we'll spend the night on Daisy. July 23rd, noon. Perfect time to be paddling. Ah! Where am I? I have a map. Let's see, Hambone Lake. Path of the Paddle. Great Canadian canoeing experience. It's hot. All right, well, Hambone Lake. So instead of doing a 60 meter portage, I just walked this because the water's high and I can. All right. We made it into Daisy Lake, 420 portage, double carry. Oh, I'm gonna stop here and have a little snack. Ah, eh? oh, <laughs> terrible. Why would anybody want to come out here? Exactly. <laughs> really? Keep it a secret, will you? Mm. Love this channel. We are almost in the middle of Daisy Lake. Beautiful flat water. Somewhere around 1 30, 2 o'clock. I think I found our campsite for tonight. There it is. Alrighty. Look who we got here. Ta da! La tent, tent fly, fly tent, tent fly. No flies in the tent fly. Why they caught a tent fly, I don't know. It doesn't fly, you know what I mean? Andy, have you heard about this one? Andy, are you goofing on it? I'm just hey, baby. I'm just having fun. If you believe, they put a man in me. A man in me. Ten fly. Ta da! Time to take a break. That was a lot of work. So I got this Steri pen because I've been using pills. Um, and when I got food poisoning there on the spring trip in May this year, twice, that's a different story. On that trip, I met a gentleman that had one of these. And it is an ultraviolet pen with a blue light. And basically, it kills all bacteria. So you just open up the bottle. I had to buy large mouth Nalgene's because I had small mouth Nalgene's, easier to drink, but you can't, you gotta stir. So you basically turn it on and you can do a liter or half a liter. And as soon as you stick it in, timer starts and it's 90 seconds. And basically you just move the light around until the 90 seconds are up. And if you didn't pull it out and make a mistake and the light went off, you'll get a smiley face. It also shows you how many of these you've got left in the life of the pen. and it shows you how much battery you have. Basically, it's good for 10,000 liters. So I don't think I'll be buying another one unless this one breaks. The charge, 10 a day. 
six days 60 liters on one charge so there you go you can see three two one smiley face and um, shows you how much life you have in the battery and how much life you have in the bulb and that's it it's as easy as that and this water is drinkable so with the pills that i was taking and the reason why i took pills is because it's easy to carry it's light they work for me i had no issues with them but um steri pen no more pills i have pills as a backup in case it doesn't work but dairy pen all the way what do we got in here got jet foil going on clothes drying took a dump i went to go fishing lost my balance here because it's deep getting in fell into the water got soaking wet i decided not to go fishing but i walked around and i found a better place to get in and out and that's where i put the canoe we got jalapeno pepper and cherry tomatoes. Shepherd's pie, yum. Nine o'clock, long day. Up at 5.30, see you in the morning. Night, night. Good night. Good morning. Dishes are done, clothes still drying. Almost packed up, ready to go. Probably around 7, 7.30. My phone died, don't know what time it is. I fell in the water yesterday, trying to fish off the bank. <laughs> Silly me. And my phone was in my pocket and it worked good until this morning and don't work no more. Oh well, see you later on the water. <sighs> don't know what time it is. It's morning, filtering water. It takes time, awesome thing though. we go down the Petawawa River and we're out. First little portage on the Petawawa out of Daisy. And down the river we go. Lots of nice grass growing. Water is clear. Trout country. Put a few casts in there at the falls. Nothing. Nice, beautiful calm on the river. A little shade, little sun, a little breeze in heaven. Awesome. This is why I come here for moments like this. You hear that? Exactly. First Beaver Dam, runnable. Just like that. Another Beaver Dam, just a little guy, runnable. Here we go. Fun. Well, there's a 500 meter portage done. We got a ways to go to Little Misty Lake through that, and at the end, we got a kilometer portage into Misty Lake. That'll be lunchtime. It's 12 now. It took me three hours to get here. Not bad, including two portages. Just like that. Nice. Next beaver dam. Oh, that's a little one. Should be okay. Nice. Easy peasy. Entering Little Misty Lake. You're beautiful. Hope you stay above water as I pass you so the camera can catch you. There's Mr. Moon, right there. All right, one kilometer portage in the books. Triple carry, brutal. 
brutal portage and rain slippery fell twice didn't hurt myself oh my god filthy dirty had to change eat something brutal did I say brutal okay misty lake looking for a campsite it's 4 30 and our paddle 5 30 just in time to set up tent and have dinner brutal just got a rain squall canoes full of water wow couldn't go the direction i was going uh, i had to go with the waves and the wind brutal almost made it to the island I had to divert, looking for a campsite now. Any campsite will do at this point in time. Good morning. Rough day yesterday. The last portage was a kilometer. It was brutal. It was raining. It was muddy. I slipped and fell two times. It took me three hours. Yeah. Got onto Misty Lake and of course uh, in the middle of the lake the wind picked up. Cloud came over and a rain shower happened with a gust of wind. Of course the wave picked up. Couldn't go in the direction I was going. So I had to turn with the wind or I would have dumped. Strong wind pushed me all the way to shore. The wrong shore that I wanted to be on. So I had to paddle across the lake to the island and then to the other side of the island. It's a big island. Big lake. Big island. Big lake. Big island. Big lake. Anyway. This morning, this is what we have. Said it's going to burn off by 8. It's now 7. So I don't believe that. But a little bit of a breeze. And we're supposed to have a nice sunny day. A few sunny days in a row. And I need to dry out. Because of course, everything got wet. I thought after the portage, the rain stopped. The sun came out. It's all good. And uh, I changed into dry clothes. And of course, my dry clothes got wet. Fun camping. All right, I'm going to go make breakfast. I need a coffee. Talk to you later. And uh, this campsite is... Uh, uphill with all your stuff there's no flat camp spots down here or i would have stayed down here beautiful old growth trees huge trees all the way around nice canopy we have time for coffee it's a loon family i was just finishing my second coffee and i hear splashing and weird loon noises in the water and it's mom and dad and three or is that four Here's where that telephoto lens would come in handy. My battery died, so I ran up and got another battery. There they are. Hopefully you can see them. Yeah, six. Teaching the kids how to fish in the morning. Beautiful. Learn well. <laughs> Trying to fish for some trout. Gonna dry out here today. And everything has to dry out so i decided to stay here tonight one more night dry out rest do some fishing and tackle those portages tomorrow back to fishing i'll let you know if i get anything lunchtime baby bell a little fresh jalapeno from my garden green onion salami and a tomato from my uh, garden Now that's what I call a wrap. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is lunch. All oh, those goodies inside. Yum. Cup of tea. On a lazy afternoon, almost all stuff is dry. Around three o'clock, just a gorgeous day. I might take an afternoon nap after a cup of tea. Decisions. I know. <sighs> Thermocell charging. GoPro batteries charging. Garmin 66i charged. Cell phone? Dead. Apparently, they don't like swimming in water. Oh well. RIP cell phone.
Bannock. And one, two, twelve. And now for some lard. Oh yeah, I only cook with lard when I go in the back country because you can't spill it if the bottle breaks. Oil weighs more and um, lard's good for you. Now there's a few things that oil's better, you know. I might take some oil sometime, but basically it's the lard. It's the lard in me, uh -huh. right? A couple of tablespoons of lard for a big bannock. And now, do a little mixing, a little bit with the lard that I put in before I add the water. You just got to take your time. And now, for some water. Now, in practice, what I found is that we don't want to mix the batter too much, you know, like knead it like you would making cookies or something, dough at home. You just fold it over. Make sure it's all mixed in. It's the best way. It comes up fluffier that way. Oops. I dropped you. Sorry. You fell over. I hope that wasn't painful for you. So what we do now is we cover that. We'll let it sit for about 20 minutes. And time to make bannock. On low heat for a while. And we flip it over. Perfect. Yum, yum. And after the testers that I had, you can say this bannock is done. Yum, yum. So we got to put that aside. And then we got to make the uh, borscht. Add one cup water. Boil it up. Everything goes in. Let it sit. Yum. Mm. Excellent. Raw garlic, good for the immune system. Bannock, good for the soul. Mm. Homemade borscht, good for everything. Mm. My wife is a deer. She makes all these dehydrated foods for me. No, I'm not going to eat all that bannock. Maybe half of it. Save the rest for tomorrow. Like if I have chili tomorrow night and there's half a bannock left, I'll have that with chili. Or you can use it as a snack in a pinch. It's very versatile. So I'm going to let you enjoy your dinner and I'll check in with you later. Platypus, 800 milliliters. You know what's inside? Single malt scotch. A little dabble do you. Ladies and gentlemen, there's your fire. Cheers. Pure aqua, the best. That black fly just tried to bite me. They don't just try. You know what I'm saying? Second night on Misty. Had to dry out. Beautiful evening. I'm feeling smoky. Boo, 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 boo. Let's check the weather, shall we? Ladies and gentlemen, it is 8 p.m. I have an early start tomorrow. 5.30 up. Time to go to bed. Got to go get some water. Uh, tidy up camp. Make sure it's okay. Put the barrel away and whew, nighty nights. See you in the morning. Hope you sleep good.